As Jesus is preparing his disciples for future leadership roles, he's obviously building into them in all kinds of different ways. And, and one of the ways he's built into them is warning them about potential problems. And, and at one point he says, watch out to his, his followers. He says, watch out for the, the leaven of the scribes and the Pharisees. He says, which is hypocrisy? Now, this was the issue that he challenged the scribes and the Pharisees on the most. In, in uh, Matthew 23, you find him uh, going through this long list of woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, because of this. But he'll say, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, and then he'll give an example of that. So you find in that long list of woes that the key issue was an issue of hypocrisy. It was, it was just rampant in the leaders of his day, both the liberals and the conservatives. When he says, woe to you, he says, scribes and Pharisees. He basically would be like saying, woe to you, conservatives and liberals. Uh, woe to you, both sides. And because both kinds of leaders were marked by the same tendency, and that was a tendency to hypocrisy. And then he turns to his disciples and he says, by the way, this is something that could very easily infect you. Uh, he's not saying it's, it's far away, but it's something that's dangerous for, for every leader. What is hypocrisy? Um, the, we don't use the word much today. Uh, it's, um, well, we do use it, but we don't usually use it much about ourselves. We, we, we wouldn't say, um, well, I really struggle with hypocrisy today, or, or um, you know, one of my greatest problems is hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is a word that we use to describe other people and extreme cases, and we maybe wouldn't recognize that the problem could be ours. But the word in that day uh, actually uh, comes from a word, hippo means to cover, uh, hippo means over, and to, uh, cover means, uh, means to cover, and, and it basically means to put a mask up to your face. And uh, that word hypocrite was, was used of someone who acted in the Roman theater, and you, you know those uh, pictures of, of uh, the thespian societies, the acting societies, where they have these masks with uh, sticks on them, that's how an actor would act. They'd come out on stage and they'd put a mask in front and they'd cover their face with the face of someone else and then act on the stage. And so basically the word hypocrite means actor. So he's saying, woe to you actors. Woe to you actors where you're putting up a face that's different than the face that you are. And uh, my guess is those actors were thinking, wow, we're, we're, doing, we're, we're giving a gift to the audience by showing them this face. I think the, the subtle thing about hypocrisy is that from the inside of hypocrisy, it doesn't feel all that bad. It, 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 hypocrisy is, is presenting something different to people than what really is. But, but generally, Christian leaders think, well, this, this gift that I'm giving them of my presentation actually is helping them. And so uh, I remember being with a, a Christian leader in, in Ukraine a while back, and, and he talked about the fact that uh, that televisions were just not accepted in, in his congregation. And, but then he, he opened the doors of his closet and showed me that he, that he had one at home, but that it was best for the congregation because they weren't mature enough to not know about that. And, uh, and so there was this sense that I'm actually doing you a service by, by not showing all of these pieces because this could be a problem to you. And I think Christian leaders often think, uh, I, I, I'm going to present what ought to be because it should be, and in that sense, then, we, we make it that thing uh, when, when really they're pretending. And uh, when, it, when it becomes clear that a Christian leader's life is not a life of integrity, that what's on the outside is not on the same in the inside, they lose credibility with followers, but they also um, can lose authority from God. God himself can remove them from leadership.